Welcome from the Alzheimer's Association Michigan Chapter Development Manager, Sue Prin. Hi, Sue. Hi, Bart. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Well, well thank you for having us back. You know? Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Karen and I yeah. are uh, pleased uh, once again this year yeah. to help you guys out and uh, be honorary chairs at this yeah. year's uh, Walk to End Alzheimer's. Yeah, thank you so much for doing that again. We are so honored that the two of you, not only the engagement that you have, um, you know, at the walk, but you know, just the relationship and the partnership that you have with us in the Alzheimer's Association. So, um, you know, we're tickled purple. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We're uh, uh, we're, we're well aware that uh, Alzheimer's affects so many uh, families in our community. So uh, anything we can do to help, we're glad, glad to pitch in. So uh, what's the plan for this Saturday? Well, for this Saturday, um, we are a rain or shine event. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we know that the, the weather can be very uh, interesting in October, but, you know, in the forecast there is rain. But please come. Uh, we still have all of our activities still a go. Um, you know, registration starts at 10 a.m. We do our opening ceremony at 11 and then we walk. Um, so please, it's, it's just water. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> yeah, there is, um, yes, the, the threat of rain, but it is not uh, thunder or lightning. Nope. So now what uh, happens at the beginning of the walk? Do you have a, an opening ceremony? Well, uh, prior to um, the walk itself, like during registration, we do um, activities, entertainment. Um, for example, Mike Lee will be there performing. Uh, so he said, rain or shine, he is there. Uh, we are going to lead into the walk itself with a sing-along, so please come on out. Um, you know, so we'll be singing and dancing in the rain. Um, we, we will also have like a hot chocolate, hot apple cider station. Uh, we have still um, fun things for the kids to do. We have a face painter and a balloon artist that will be there. So there are still a lot of things to engage. Um, you know, we have our signature promise garden as well as, you know, memory wall. So there are things to do throughout registration leading up to the promise garden ceremony and the opening ceremony. Great. These are some photos from last year. Yeah. And it's evening when we did it last yes. year. Yes. So we've moved a little later into the year and a little earlier in the day. Yes. So it is a new day and a new time. We were Friday evenings, but we are now... Um, Saturday morning, so it's a little bit different this year. Now, there are people that might have purple raincoats and purple umbrellas that yep. haven't had an opportunity to use them. Right. <laughs> do you have a purple raincoat? I do. I, I will be dressed in purple. I also have a purple uh, rain bucket hat that I'm going to be wearing that day. So, okay. like I said, we are not shying away. We're going to have fun with this. Well, we have uh, purple as, as the color right. of Alzheimer's, but... Uh, the flowers, there are other colors. What do those colors signify? Uh, these are really important with our Promise Garden Ceremony because um, each color represents a, a different engagement involvement of those um, participating with WALK. Uh, for example, blue means that you've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or a form of dementia. Yellow is you're a caregiver or supporting a caregiver. Orange, that's what I care. You're an advocate and supporter to all those affected by Alzheimer's. And um, uh, uh, purple is that you've lost a loved one. Oh. We've got people not just wearing purple, but it looks like uh, tutus. Yes. And what, they, they get all dressed up. And what I can say is that uh, those uh, that do come um, during the rain, they are hardcore walkers, and you will see some amazing individuals. And it's a great way to honor your loved one and to come together and to support each other of those that are going through this journey of you know facing Alzheimer's disease. Obviously individuals are out walking but they're representing their families mm -hmm. but also you have some organizations and some senior uh, organizations that are uh, big uh, participants in this event absolutely um you know what i can say is that you know um well wise they are they are hosting the uh, apple cider and the hot chocolate station mm -hmm. um jackson district library jdl they are uh planning an activity through the route itself so th it's not just the walk you'll have engagement and this is something new that we've uh that they've added to the walk and it's a, a a relationship that's built and the partnership that's grown and they feel that this would be fantastic so uh, it's a great thing so please there's there's plenty to do um, we also have um, you know Vista Grand Villa we have a uh, Lloyd Ganton that's involved with us so a lot of longtime partners and it continues to grow yeah and I think they are in competition to raise the most money for the walk 
Um, you know what? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I want to say our partners um, are always in those top tier teams and we are excited that they are part of the walk with us. How does it raise money? Are people uh, getting pledges or do they mm -hmm. uh, pay a registration fee? Uh, there is no registration fee. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, and there are multiple ways to, um, to register, but uh, you can go online at act.alz. Uh, um, slash Jackson MI to register, um, but you can register the morning of the event. But we do encourage all to fundraise, and uh, it's peer to peer fundraising, but uh, to earn our, uh, I have it on today, our walk t shirt. It's a unique design every single year. Um, but again, part of what we do is also awareness and, um, you know, uh, spreading, you know, the word. So coming down and joining us and, and having the numbers and show that the walk is there, that is also what we do. And what you do with the money, it supports. Oh. Uh, Families uh, and research yep. all happening like right here. Yep, right here. Um, you know, the funds that are raised uh, support the educational programs, support groups, um, not only here within the community, but we also have our nationwide helpline, which is 1 800 272 3900, and it's truly, um, you know, 24 uh, 7. We also have um, critical funds that support research, and the association, um, you know, Matt, we have over $360 million that are invested in over a thousand active um, research projects wow. in 53 countries, um, over six continents. But here in Michigan alone, we have $4.9 million invested in research. So this is here, this is in our backyards. Um, it's amazing. I know people love to get the shirts when they mm -hmm. do the walks and the runs, so yep. they can register as late as Saturday morning. And yep, come get... on down and join okay. us. It's going to be fun. <laughs> All right, let's put that uh, QR code up once again yes. because this is another way that you can uh, get taken to the registration page. Saturday, people just show up starting at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Good to see you. See you, see you Saturday. See you Saturday. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Thank you, Bert. Uh, Sue Prin is the development manager for Alzheimer's Association Michigan chapter, and we're working together on Saturday's walk to end Alzheimer's. We've got a busy week.